Hey, welcome back everyone. And ever since the very end of the Skywalker saga, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney, Lucasfilm, Bob Iger, Bob Chapek, and exactly what they have planned for the next couple of years for Disney Plus and for theatrical releases. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that they are obviously trying to pick up the broken pieces to put back together again to really create a better future for the franchise. That's exactly what Chapek and Iger are trying everything in their power to do. They really want to actually bring back the old Star Wars fans that walked away from the sequel trilogy ever since Episode Nine released back in December of 2019 last year. So, when we look at everything of what's happening with Disney Star Wars, obviously a lot of the cast has actually come out. They've talked about their experiences like John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, and others out there, even Daisy Ridley. And that's actually what we're going to be getting to in just a minute here. But what's really interesting all has to do with what happened with the overall sequel trilogy and everything to do with actress Daisy Ridley as Rey slash Rey Skywalker and more. Obviously, a lot of fans had issues with how Episode 9 turned out to be. You know, a lot of fans would think that Episode 9, of all things, would have been the biggest and most successful Star Wars movie ever, where, in reality, it actually turned out to be the complete opposite. It really did not do all that well at the box office, you know. Sure, it made money, but it really should have made a whole lot more than The Last Jedi's. It didn't even reach The Last Jedi's box office results. Just let that sink in for a moment there, all right? So, with that being said, of course, what's really intriguing now is that, well, with the Skywalker saga now over, both Disney and Lucasfilm are now focused on their new Star Wars universe and their new Star Wars trilogy as well. It's explained that both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are developing multiple ways in order to reunite the Star Wars fans around the world. Now, further, it's noted, however, that recently actress Daisy Ridley was questioned about Lucasfilm and the sequel trilogy overall, to where Daisy was questioned about Kathleen Kennedy as well, to where she went on to say that the process of developing the end of the sequel trilogy was so frustrating, and the chances and the changes made by the creatives over at Lucasfilm, like Kathleen Kennedy, made it feel like a disaster and a horrific experience to work with. Daisy Ridley goes on to unveil that Rey's origin was a big mess, and it often really stressed her out on set, especially with the scenes that were cut from the movie that she had trained so hard for, both physically and mentally. Let me stop right here for a second. You guys may not be aware of that. Daisy Ridley was actually involved with so many other scenes besides of what we got in the final cut of Episode 9, in fact. She had so much more to work with, with the character of Dark Ray and other scenes of her with Ben Solo that were completely cut from episode 9 by Kathleen Kennedy and how Kennedy wanted nothing to do with that. Now, obviously Daisy Ridley has talked about this before in the past, that a lot of changes were made to episode 9, but now getting more into her feelings and how she actually reacted to everything on set, it is quite, you know, something to look into. The fact that so many different cast members like John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, and Daisy Ridley had that type of experience that was very frustrating and is one of the main reasons as to why they are not returning to Star Wars, you know, at least the foreseeable future. They have they want nothing to do with Star Wars, they want nothing to do with any of the animated projects that Disney is working on, and so on and so forth. Now, further, Daisy Ridley went on to reveal that she had a ton of problems with the way things were going for the Rise of Skywalker, and even knew the fans would have major issues with the ending of the movie, and that often got her very worried. Daisy Ridley was also able to unveil that she would often have creative differences with Kathleen Kennedy on set, and that this caused her to nearly quit the project midway through production, that it was that bad of an experience for her while filming at Pinewood Studios in the UK, for various key scenes that were going to be groundbreaking. So, this mostly occurred over at Pinewood. Now, a large portion of Episode 9 was filmed at Pinewood. You know, a lot of the interior scenes and a lot of the scenes in the third act, a lot of them were done at Pinewood, including the big lightsaber duel between Kylo and Rey on the second Death Star. That was also shot at Pinewood. 
Everything related to, you know, Kathleen Kennedy, obviously, you know, she's very demanding and she knows what she wants and she's going to push for what she wants. And that's stressed out a lot of people on set like Daisy Ridley, for example. And we're going to get into exactly what happened further, but also we do know that Daisy Ridley even talked about this not so long ago, I would say about a month ago that they knew nothing as to exactly what they were doing with Ray's origins. We're going to also get into that in just a second. Now, aside from all of this, all right, it's described that behind the scenes, Daisy Ridley would often develop frustrations with J.J. Abrams, of all people, on specific choices that he had actually made for some of the important segments in the movie that she did not agree with, and that this caused a ton of problems for her to focus on her acting in the movie. Daisy Ridley went on to unveil that Kathleen Kennedy was the one responsible for changing the ending of the movie more than seven times, and that there was so much more to work with and that it was a shame that the fandom did not get to see what could have been on the big screen. Additionally, Daisy Ridley went on to say that J.J. Abrams at times would also have problems on set with Kathleen Kennedy's creative differences and what she was aiming for when it came to the final cut of the movie. So once again, you know, the fact that Kathleen Kennedy changed the ending of episode 9 more than 7 times, I think it really speaks volumes. I really do believe, down to the core here, that that is why the ending of episode 9 did not really, I guess you could say, impact a lot of Star Wars fans out there. A lot of fans out there had mixed feelings. Some fans liked the whole Rey Skywalker things. A lot of fans also really dislike that whole entire idea, which is fine. But when we focus on everything related to the very ending of the film, it at least had some form of direction because JJ was trying to really scrap, you know, what he had left of some of the scenes that he was initially working on before Kathleen Kennedy stepped in and deleted those segments. At least JJ kept it on Tatooine, at least he kept it near the Lars homestead. That was always going to be the end scenario but it was changed so many times we've gone over this before ben solo at one point in time was even supposed to live other times ben solo was supposed to be a force ghost that would actually be seen next to luke anakin and leia so with that being said guys you know drop a comment below let me know think about all of this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel i thank you all so very much for the kind support and i'll catch you guys next time